Hi, my name is Lyndon Plumley. I'm a fully certified child sleep consultant and also a parent coach at the Center for Children and Youth. When I talk to families about sleep, I always love to share some of the basics about the science of sleep as it relates to our children. There's some important biological factors that can influence our children's sleep and knowing these can really help us to set up the right schedule to help our children get really good restorative sleep. Okay, so the first is light and dark matters when it comes to sleep. We all have an internal body clock with natural 24 hour fluctuations. It's called our circadian rhythms. Light and darkness are central in the regulation of our circadian rhythms. When our brain perceives light, it triggers a series of hormonal releases, which kicks the body into gear for the day. And when it perceives darkness, our brain releases melatonin, a sleepy hormone that relaxes the body for sleep. That's why I always suggest keeping your kids' sleep environment nice and dark. Second is there's a sweet spot for bedtime and nap time. When our children are awake, their drive to sleep builds kind of like a balloon filling with air. And when they get to this peak, they start to show early sleepy cues like zoning out, rubbing their eyes, yawning, a general lull. That's the optimal time for sleep. If we pass this point too much, then our children become overtired, adrenaline kicks in, and it makes it harder to fall asleep and then get back to sleep if they wake up. Lastly, an earlier bedtime leads to more restorative sleep. After about four months of age, our children have two types of sleep. There's light and more active dream sleep and then deeply restorative sleep. Children get more of that deeply restorative sleep in the first part of the night and more active sleep in the second part of the night. So shifting bedtime later doesn't shift when they get that really good sleep, that really good restorative sleep. They just miss out on some of it. So we really wanna make sure we can try and prioritize an early bedtime as much as possible. If you are struggling with your child's sleep, please know that you are not alone. We have resources and support available to help get your child's sleep on track. We're here for you.